So I'm in my car talking on the phone to one of my friends and I pull into a gas station. The guy who was pumping my gas was totally hot. Look at those teeth, they're perfect. He started some dumb, stupid conversation. He was kind of like a total shaytard. I mean, kind of dumb. And we really didn't have anything to talk about, but he was so hot. So I gave him my card. So I went on a date with this guy at the movies. Was there an Ocean's Eleven? I don't know anything that's going on in this movie. The first thing I thought was, oh, what did I get myself into? What do you want me to do, like explain the entire movie to you? Then he proceeds to tell me that he's really tired because he worked all day long, and that he would really like to rest his head on my shoulder. Right. Puts his head down, uh. So all of a sudden he starts like freaking out. I just, oh, I just can't do this. Can you just put your head on my shoulder and then I'll put my head on your head? Please, please, please keep your head on my shoulder. Oh, I'm getting a cramp in my neck right now. Ah, He was literally like crushing my head. Doesn't he understand I don't want him to touch me? Ugh, come on, I'm a bruise tomorrow. There's probably 30 minutes left in the movie. He uh, taps me on the shoulder. We so should have gotten <laughs> popcorn. Sure, I think popcorn's a great idea. Uh, could you go get it? Yeah, sure, buddy, I'll go get the popcorn. I honestly just want to take this $20 and call a cab and call it a night. Nightmare date, because I don't want to be here anymore. Here is your popcorn. Missed the whole end of the movie. Whoa, the movie, they don't even need it now. Oh, really? All right, listen, I'm just gonna hurry up with the story because I'm boring myself, to be honest with you. I get in the car. He's being one of those, like, awkward guys that, like, comes up and tries to, like, shove you in the door. I feel like I'm getting beat up on this day. I mean, like, my neck's gonna kill me tomorrow. I just got a bruise on my shin because he just shoved me in the car. And then he decides to tell me that he really has to use the bathroom. He's really gotta pee. Okay, we're in the car going home. Like, why didn't you say this five minutes ago when there was a bathroom? He's like, I'm just gonna go in the parking lot. Oh, okay. Have fun. Does this guy need a pep talk or something? Like, what do you want me to do, help you take a piss? <gasps> Come on. Come on, Mr. Gas Station Tart. You can do it. You can do it. Yay. Come on. Get that pee out. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. <gasps> so obviously, when this entire nightmare was over, I never returned any of his phone calls. Weird people out there, I'll tell you. Weird, 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 weird. <laughs> Hi, Sue. Mommy's got a hot dog for you. Sue, hey, do you like your hot dog? Satisfied? Oh, God, I love this dog. You love Mommy, too, don't you? She was just sleeping and Mommy had to bother her because I wanted to go, whoosh. Don't we look alike? Sue, so look, it's Mommy over there. I love you.